the very type of person that was in the garden, that the very type of snake-like serpentine quality that made them, that gave them this nature, this puffed up nature, with puffed up with knowledge, that misled them and brought them down to being a less of a human being, thinking it's going to be more of a human being. And so these people go back like drug addicts. They go back to those same types and they elect them as experts and they put them on pedestals and they, they are icons and they're idols and these idols, these idols lead them and massage into them what they want to hear and they keep buying it and keep buying it and learning and believing they're wonderful when they're not wonderful and God loves them when, they're not, when God doesn't love them. It's not the God that, our God that loves them, it's, their, it's another God that loves them the way they are. It's an evil God. And so, these people go that way. And these people are getting some kind of salvation. But it isn't a salvation from, it isn't a true salvation. It is a salvation from salvation. The, the ego is kept being preserved. And therefore Jesus said, who preserves his life shall lose it. Whoever shall preserve his ego, animal life, that's what it, and breath, that's what the translation actually means. In Greek, there are two words for life. One is suche, the other one is zoe. Zoe, we would get our word zoo from. Zo, zoe, zoe. Whoever shall preserve his, his zoe life. The English only has one word for life, so it doesn't make sense when you only use that one word. But you put it back to the Greek, it makes sense. Who shall preserve his ego animal life and breath shall lose the suche life and breath who shall lay down his ego animal life and breath shall pick up the spiritual suche life and breath 